Hey everyone, Brian here from Computer Cable Store. So I'm here today continuing the Cable Basics series with the last part of the cable, the jacket. When talking about the jacket, we have two primary variations in the jacket which are used in most applications. CMR, where the R stands for riser, and CMP, where the P stands for plenum. So the first thing we have to do is look at the terms riser and plenum and see what they mean. The term riser usually refers to the vertical space, like a cable duct, used by telecommunications infrastructure to connect floors together. You can see in this diagram that the cable duct allows the cabling to connect each floor together. The CMR or riser cabling installed in this area will have a PVC jacket that passes the UL1666 standard. This standard will test the flame propagation height of the cable, and that means how fast flames will travel up the jacket. On the other hand, we have plenum. A plenum refers to an airspace, usually above a drop ceiling or below a raised floor, that is used by HVAC systems for air circulation. Although not all spaces above a drop ceiling are plenum air spaces. In diagram A, you'll see that the return for the HVAC system is directly above the drop ceiling. This would be a plenum air space. In diagram B, this is not a plenum air space because the return feeds directly into the HVAC system with ducting. On the right hand side is the return for the HVAC system. You'll see that it feeds directly into there so this is not a plenum airspace. The plenum cable that is installed in this airspace needs to have certain low smoke and flame propagation characteristics. The most popular test is outlined by the NFPA 262 standard. The jacket on these plenum cables will often come in two varieties. One of the more popular jacket materials is FEP, which stands for fluorinated ethylene propylene. In the second one, even though the term plenum is often identified separately from PVC, will have some PVC compounds found in the jacket. These PVC materials will still meet the low smoke and flame propagation characteristics required for plenum airspaces. So hopefully this information is helpful when determining whether you need plenum or riser cabling. However, you should always check with your local fire codes to see which cabling you do need for these airspaces. So thanks for watching, stay tuned for more videos.